All right, so I'm going to take a step back in time to one of the B-Class races here. This is over in Forest Falls, of course. Not a very inspiring name, uh, but a very literal name, per se. You've got a forest and you've got some waterfalls, so what more do you want? So this is one of the few tracks in the Hot Wheels expansion that really utilizes the landscape of the islands themselves, which honestly I really do appreciate because there's all so much coding involved with making sure that, you know, the cars actually drive as well as they should and are able to, you know, have some black pathing so you can't drive through walls and all that kind of stuff. So if they have to do all that programming, you might as well just be able to drive the cars on the area anyway. So I'm glad that they incorporate a couple of races that really show off these islands themselves. So as you're down on the ground looking up at these tracks, it is a really cool, interesting scenic route instead of being on the tracks looking down here from afar. Um, of course, because you are down on the ground, uh, most of these are in fact going to be cross-country races because, well, I mean, they don't drive very well on, with supercars. You know, you gotta, gotta get your off-road tires on on your VW bus. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, the, the scenery is just absolutely spectacular. It, it almost puts Guanajuato to shame just with all the steam and the mist coming off of, of these rivers and the falls. Uh, as you're looking up into the sky, and it's just, it's really cool. I mean, it's really cool. I, I can't say much more than that. It's just awesome. Um, but, of course, with these tracks, it's not entirely cross-country, because if you have these giant Hot Wheels tracks, you might as well use them. So go up into 10th gear as you're looking at this giant tree, and then you hit yet another boost. And then you hit yet another one coming on up. And there might be one more. And across the line, eventually. Brilliant. So let us explore the map with the Lamborghini Huracan GT3 car, but in a different setting. Welcome to our floating city in the sky, but at night, and having a decent graphics card and a decent processor makes it look spectacular. Of course, I don't think race rate tracing is on. I could be wrong, uh, but just look at this place. It is amazing. Um, I was going to say, of the four areas, I want to say that the Ice Cauldron and Forest Falls are probably my favorites. Uh, so let's see if we can get close to them so we can do a little bit more exploring. Here we go. Getting into the Ice Cauldron here. I loved the stylistic choice that the developers chose to have purple lights around some of the mountainous areas. Uh, it really provides a huge contrast to the greens and the oranges. Uh, I want to say that Forest Falls has a little bit of blues in them because of the water or whatnot. So, and you can even look over there. It does just in the lights as well. But I mean, this is just... just I, I love this area so much at night, and yes, I did happen to wait at least 15 minutes to get the day-night cycle going here. It turns out that it's like an hour and a half of day to have only like 15 minutes of night, which I find is utter crap, <laughs> because look at this place. It's so beautiful. Oh. So one of the other interesting things, uh, kind of going back to map design, um, when you're just kind of aimlessly driving around, it's very difficult to really go exactly where you want because these roads kind of go wherever. And the only times that you can really go where you want is if you get like an intersection and then you can kind of change it up a little bit. Um, but other than that, you just kind of have to follow it and hope that it gets you generally in the direction that you're hoping for. Um, 
which is a little bit of a bummer because in a racing game you're hoping to have a little bit more freedom especially if it's quote unquote open world but even in this area it really just doesn't feel open world-ish which is odd but regardless you can at least sit back and relax as you just loosely kind of drive as you enjoy the absolutely incredible scenery around you with the stars on your right and you know mountains of both the ice cauldron and the giants uh, canyon off to your left as you now hit some plane of ice going in the middle of a loop I mean this right here it makes me feel that this is the better Hot Wheels game if you compare um, Hot Wheels Unleashed and then the expand the Hot Wheels expansion with Forza Horizon 5. Um, Hot Wheels Unleashed, graphically speaking, is really good. But when you have like ray tracing kicked on and you're playing around as a Lamborghini Huracan at night, and you see your taillights reflecting in the ice as you drive over it and you try to maintain control as you're looking up at the night sky. I mean, what more could you want from all this? And the one thing that I was curious to see too when I was uh, first spawned into this world, I'm like, so how are they going to illuminate the tracks? Are they going to have like the light posts? Or are they just going to like have it naturally illuminated by some kind of mysterious force or... What are they going to do here? And I actually like their design decision of having kind of like these movie theater lights uh, kind of off to either side here. So as you can tell here, the Giants Canyon is... Oop, have a little bit of lag there. Unfortunately, a little bit underwhelming. Uh, even though it's got all these great rock outcroppings and whatnot that makes it uh, different than Guanajuato, uh, it's still a kind of that tannish, brownish color um, that you're very familiar with when it comes to you know experiencing a Mexican night. Uh, down in Guanajuato. So we're going to quickly move our way over to Forest Falls. And I can't tell if those green lights are supposed to be lights or are they're missing textures or something. Um, but we reach Forest Falls where we've got uh, a lot of the waterfalls illuminated by like a blue light and a lot of the trees illuminated by like a green light. I mean... This stuff's really cool, as long as I can turn my car around where we can experience it more. Yeah, let's go this way. I just can't get over how pretty this game is, especially when you're going along these tracks at completely wild, insane angles. I mean, look at all of this. <laughs> And then you see these miles and miles of tracks, like, winding around themselves as you're going horizontal next to a waterfall. Like, god damn. Absolutely spectacular. Absolutely, absolutely spectacular. So, if you do have Forza Horizon 5, you need need, need, need to get the Hot Wheels expansion. I might have found our missing road. Give me a second here. What's going on here? So we've got these ramps, but you like can't go down anywhere? It's kind of weird. And just like that, uh, Donna's already coming up. So, I didn't even think that was even 15 minutes. So, I just sad how cool this area is to experience it and enjoy it for such a little time before just seeing daytime once again. But I digress. It's still very pretty. I said I wasn't going to do this again tonight. I lied. I figured I'd get another uh, Giants Canyon racetrack in. So we are doing this once again the other 
uh, S1 course here, but this time we're playing as the Lamborghini Huracan GT3 car that we've made. Uh, and so far we're not doing all that great, <laughs> uh, to be quite honest, but of course we haven't hit any boosts or anything like that yet. But we are slowly, slowly but surely making our way through the field here. Hoping that uh, one of these days we can really top out and make our way up into the podium positions here. So that was my other comment too, is that this game is, even though it is, it has a lot of variety in the courses, um, there is, the vast majority of it is you just hold the gas and you just go to like your top speed and you just kind of sit there. Um, yeah, you do have these couple of loops every now and again that make you like kind of break, but you're not really penalized that hard for... Nope. Oh, it's that spot that I was going to mess up. Ooh, I was able to keep it, but we're in third. Nice. Um, See, so yeah, I think in this section, as you can tell, top speed is a priority of your to play in this track which to be honest there's only a couple of highways that you could really reach your top speed in in Guanajuato and in that kind of map um, but to the excess of all these tracks here being all top speed up here in the heavens um, I don't know I don't know if it's my cup of tea or not but I still Still absolutely love, love this expansion pack. We're able to make it across the line in first place. How close are we? It was very close. <laughs> Less than a tenth. Less than a tenth to second place. Oh man, that was close. So that was Forza Horizon 5's Hot Wheels expansion. So if you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. we got a lot more of this coming up in the future here. But of course, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for other content to come along the way as well. Of course, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.